Asher Lowe here inside of Firestone Fieldhouse after Pepperdine closes out their non-conference slate with an 83-47 win over Westcliff. Good to have Javon Porter back on the court. 18 points led the way tonight for the Waves. And Vaughn, you've had a kind of a slow runway back. I know there's a minute's limit on you when you first came back. How are you feeling now as we head into conference play? Uh, starting to feel better and better every day. Each practice, uh, every day in rehab, all that, starting to feel a lot better. Today was by far the best I've felt out there, though, for sure. The shot looks really good right now. Uh, I mean, you're just kind of letting it fly. I feel like even deeper than I remember you shooting them before. I know you came into Pepperdine being able to shoot it. You can still shoot it and expanding that range. What are you looking to take into conference play offensively for yourself and for this team? Um, just trying to play my game. Not do too much, not do too little. Do what the team needs me to do. And then really, I'm just trying to play as hard as I possibly can and let the rest take care of itself. Enjoy that 10-minute lift tomorrow, and good luck against Gonzaga. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Joined by Coach Romar after Pepperdine closes out non-conference play with an 83-47 win over Westcliff. And, Coach, I just talked to Javon Porter, who looked really good tonight and has looked better and better as he gets healthier. How great is it to have this team fully healthy and to watch him do what he did tonight? It's, uh, it's good. It's good to see. You know, Bubakar and uh, Javon, those guys are, didn't play basketball for about five, six months. They hadn't played, and so... Uh, they're just getting the kinks out now, and Javon's been cleared to play more and more minutes. Booba's kind of out of the restriction, Bubakar, and Javon to, was able to play 21, 22 minutes and get his timing back a little bit. So that, uh, that just helps our cause for sure. Even in a game where you guys controlled the second half, you had a big halftime lead, there were guys diving for loose balls out there. Someone ran through a chair. I think it was Houston Millette, yeah. which it usually is, I feel like, when you're talking yeah. about yeah. running through a chair on the courtside seats. But you guys were up 30, you know, 40 points, and you guys were still playing with a lot of effort and energy. Did you see that as well, that intensity? Yeah, well, you know, we had a lull in the beginning of the second half. And aside from that, I thought we did. You want to create a standard way of play. It doesn't matter what the score is. It doesn't matter the opposition. You want a standard way to play. And if guys can sustain that standard the entire game, that allows you to get better. And I thought our guys did that tonight. What can you take from this non-conference slate now into conference play, of course, starting with a big challenge up in Spokane next week? That, uh, the slate is clean, and we're going to start over. That uh, We've made some improvements on the defensive end. I think we have a little more firepower uh, uh, scoring-wise. We have more guys that can rebound the basketball. So we go in just feeling like uh, we're a different team than we were, let's say, three or four weeks ago. Good luck in conference play, Coach. Thank you.